Autumn Returns by Pablo Neruda. A day dressed in mourning falls from the bells like a fluttering veil of a roving widow. It is a color, a dream of cherries sunk in the earth, a tale of smoke restlessly arriving to change the color of water and of kisses. I am not sure that I make myself understood. When night approaches from the heights, when the solitary poet at his window hears the galloping horse of autumn and the trampled leaves of fear rustle in his arteries, there's something over the sky, like the tongue of an ox, thick, something in the uncertainty of the sky and the atmosphere. Things return to their place, the indispensable lawyer, the hands, the oil, the bottles, all the signs of life. The beds, above all, are filled with a bloody liquid, the people deposit its secrets in sordid ears. The assassins come downstairs, but it's not that, but the old gallop. The horse of old autumn, which trembles unindoors. The horse of old autumn has a red beard, and the froth of fear covers his cheeks, and the air which follows him is shaped like an ocean and smells of vague, buried decay. Every day a color like ashes drops from the sky. The doves must deal it out from the earth. The rope which is woven by oblivion and tears, time which has slept long years in the bells, everything, the outworn clothes, the women watching the snow fall, the black poppies which no one can look at without dying, everything falls into the hands which I raise into the midst of the rain.